Hi, it's Katrina. From prehistoric looking birds to the new generation of felines, here are 10 wild animals that have rarely ever been seen. Number 10. Shoebill Storks The shoebill stork is quite an intimidating bird. It looks like something out of a 90s animated movie, not a real live animal that's walking around in the world right now. These large birds have a very direct look on their face. Also known as the whale-headed stork, they are native to the wetlands of Central and East Africa. Most of the time, they stick to themselves since they are pretty solitary creatures, which may explain why we don't see them that much. They like their space. Although they were once thought to be storks, they are now classified under their own category, Balaenicipitidae. They are usually from 3 to 5 feet tall and they have long toes that help them to balance when they walk in the water. Their most striking feature, however, is their large shoe-shaped bill. Over 7 inches long, this bill has a large cavernous space inside that serves as a kind of container for their favorite food or to hold water. They will also use it to clap together and make loud noises to communicate and warning you to stay away. They can be territorial and aggressive. When this bird hunts, they will stand there motionless waiting for their favorite meal of lungfish or baby crocodiles to swim by. Then, the enormous bird will jump forward and scoop up the food in its bill. Then, it will swing its bill back and forth, letting all the water and mud and debris spill out until just its prey is left inside. At the end, it will quickly decapitate whatever it caught and then swallow the rest whole. This impressive bird will also eat frogs, snakes, and eels. While they may seem a little scary, this bird is very underappreciated. Number 9. Polka Dotted Zebra in 2019, a photographer named Frank Liu captured an incredible sight in Kenya's Masai Mara National Reserve. While he was looking for rhinos, he saw a zebra foal or a youngling with a striking kind of coloration. Zebras wear their stripes like a badge of honor and they can be so unique as to identify them individually. But this zebra foal didn't have stripes at all. Instead, its body was littered up and down with polka dots. They named it Tira after the guide who spotted it. This is the first sighting of this kind of zebra in Masai Mara, and it's extremely rare. Pretty cool, huh? Tira has a genetic condition referred to as pseudomelanism, which causes animals with stripes to demonstrate some kind of abnormal stripe pattern. It varies from animal to animal, but the cells that produce melanin in these creatures all get disturbed by a genetic mutation at some point during its creation. That is why a shaved zebra would be black all over its body. At any rate, Tira's melanin production was somehow stimmied, meaning that his cells didn't display its stripes correctly, leading to its unique pattern. It may be hard for Tira in the future, however. Research shows that flies tend not to land on and bite striped surfaces. Regardless, this rare zebra is truly a sight to behold. Number 8. Red Panda Pandas are some of the cutest, rarest bears on the planet. The most popular incarnation of a panda comes in the form of the giant panda, with their emblematic black and white color scheme and love for bamboo. The heavily endangered red panda is not exactly a bear, but still a bamboo lover. Have you ever seen one of these? Aren't they adorable? The red panda has its own family called Iluridae, but they share some of the same characteristics with giant pandas, such as their thumb-like appendages. When they were first discovered and named, it was believed they belonged to the raccoon family, then the bear family, and finally their own family since they are so different from other animals. Red pandas are famous not only for their cuteness, but for their acrobatic skills. About the size of a cat, they use their long bushy tails for balance and to keep themselves warm in the Himalayan winter. 50% of their habitat is in the eastern Himalayas, and they are under threat due to loss of their habitat of nesting trees and bamboo getting cut down. Bamboo makes up about 85-95% to 95 of their diet. The rest of the time, they will forage for fruits or insects, birds, and even small mammals. They usually weigh between 6 and 14 pounds, and like skunks, they have a scent gland that they will use to mark their territory, or will unleash the smell to scare off predators. Some estimates put the number of wild red pandas at just 2,500, but zoos have been able to breed them with some success, with the hope of keeping the species diverse and healthy. Number 7. Bracken Bat Cave Mesh Weaver Spider The Bracken Bat Cave in Texas serves as a place of rest during the summer months to the most populous bat colony on Earth. But there is another species hidden within its depths that are having a much harder time staying alive than the local bats. The Bracken Bat Cave Mesh Weaver Spiders hadn't been spotted for around 30 years until 2012, when a cave full of them was discovered in San Antonio, Texas. 
They are only about the size of a dime, but the impact of this discovery stopped a $15 million highway construction plan in order to study the rare and elusive spider. Spiders can be creepy, but these little guys can't do that much damage. Not only are they tiny, but they can't harm humans at all. They're even blind. You almost have to feel bad for these poor creatures. They mostly live in these small caves underground, which are at risk of collapsing under the weight of human development projects like highways and pipelines. The relationship between these spiders and cave ecosystems is currently an important question, which is exactly why researchers want to spend time figuring out what these spiders are all about. Species found in unique environments such as caves often play key roles in their habitats, and scientists are hoping to find out more about them before they are lost forever. Number 6. Florida Panther There aren't many pumas east of the Mississippi River, and in fact, there is only one known species of puma in the eastern region, the Florida Panther. Also known as a cougar or a mountain lion, this panther used to flourish in the southeast. The panther has long held the title of Florida's state animal, but it's also one of the most endangered species in all of North America. As an apex predator, they help to keep deer and feral hog populations in check and the ecosystem healthy. They are secretive creatures and are rarely spotted. Scientists have been trying to protect and monitor their movements by putting radio collars on them and to find them if they stop moving. In 2012, an uncollared female triggered motion-sensitive camera traps moving her kittens to a new location. This is greatly inspiring as only 100 to 160 of them are believed to exist in the wild. Most of them were hunted, but now they are often hit by cars. Florida panthers are mainly large, tan cats with large tails. Their kittens, however, have a lot of spots all over their coats. Just take a look at these little cubs. When they're fully grown, they can be up to 7 feet long and weigh up to 160 pounds. Researchers think that Florida panthers maintained much larger numbers before the influx of people into the Americas around the 1600s. And since industrialization, things have only gotten worse for these pumas. Pumas need big areas of land around which they can hunt and stay away from each other because they are extremely territorial. Deforestation and fighting amongst each other only makes matters worse. Some female mountain lions were imported from Texas in 1995 to try to help keep their numbers up, but they are still living on the brink. Number 5. Visayan Spotted Deer Depending on where you live, deer seem pretty common, but some deer are harder to find than others. In particular, the Visayan Spotted Deer, named for the Visayan Islands in the central Philippines, which is the only place they live, are few and far between. They are one of the most endangered species on Earth. Scientists think that they are the species of deer with the most limited amount of disbursement in the world. For a while, they inhabited larger regions of the Visayan Islands, but over the years they have restricted themselves to three or four small forest areas on a couple of islands. Very little is known about them precisely because they are so rarely seen. They are declining primarily because they prefer areas that have disappeared due to natural disasters like landslides or fires, and because most of the forest areas have been taken over by people forced out of the way by logging companies, so these spotted deer have nowhere to go. They weren't even seen for the first time until they were caught on video in 2012. Number 4. White Lion The lion is the king of the jungle, but some lions stand above the rest and take on an almost mythological quality. For that matter, consider the incredible white lions. In fact, they're not a different species of lion at all, belonging to the same classification of lions Panthera leo. But their appearance inspires great reverence and honor. In certain communities in the greater Timbavati region, they are even considered holy. Their coats are white because of a particular condition that decreases the amount of pigmentation that their bodies produce. Surprisingly, they're not albinos. The genetic trait that causes white lions to be white is not the same as what causes animals to become albino. Albinos have pinkish reddish eyes and noses, whereas white lions have bluish goldish eyes, black noses, and markings around their eyes that look an awful lot like eyeliner. They are usually kept in zoos and on reserves most of the time because their coloring doesn't help them with camouflage and their lives are often at risk. Actually, the last time someone saw a white lion in the wild was in 1996, but more recently zoologists have reported verified sightings of rare white lion cubs spotted in South Africa. Researchers estimate that there may be around 13 of them in the wild. The genetic condition that causes them to be white is in fact quite rare. However, there are a few of them in captivity, so you may be able to see one for yourself one day. Number 3. The Quoll 
These tiny marsupials almost went extinct, but a small population of northern quolls survived in Tasmania and they were reintroduced to mainland Australia in 2018. Quolls are nocturnal and will eat just about anything. Insects, carrion, birds, and they are tough. They will hunt animals larger than themselves, and will even snatch food from a Tasmanian devil, according to Wade Anthony, founder of the Devil's Cradle Animal Sanctuary in Tasmania, where some of the recently released quolls were bred. The tiger quoll used to live primarily in Australia and New Guinea, but while they used to be quite populous, they've declined in numbers in recent years. But more than any of them, the tiger quoll is perhaps the most vulnerable or endangered species among the bunch. For a while, you could look out your window and see them fairly regularly, but sightings have declined in recent years. Tiger quolls are about 50% bigger than your average quoll, and they have spots down their long tails. Their fur is reddish to heavy brown, and they're night owls too, hunting primarily in the dark of nighttime. As carnivores, they mostly consume things like possums and rabbits. Weirdly, quolls share a communal bathroom space, with piles up to 100 droppings at a time. It could be used to mark their space, but no one really knows for sure yet. Because of the introduction of foxes into their habitats, as well as land clearing practices, tiger quolls are declining fast and scattering from their original habitats. So you're lucky if you ever catch sight of one of these nowadays. Number 2. Saber-toothed Beaked Whale Saber-toothed tigers went out of existence long ago, but there are still saber-toothed creatures on the earth. Just not maybe where you would expect to find them. That title belongs to the saber-toothed beaked whale, or Stenegger's beaked whale. There haven't been many sightings of this whale, but when they've been spotted or washed ashore, they've drawn researchers from around the world due to their strange and unique features. Stenegger's beaked whale looks almost like a chubby dolphin with saber-like teeth. They can grow about 5 to 5.5 meters long and are found in very small groups. Males typically have large teeth that point up on either side of their jaw, but the female's teeth are typically hidden within their gums. They seem like something out of a fairy tale or a myth. But why aren't they seen in the wild very often? That's because they generally swim deep under Arctic waters at depths of about 2,500 to 5,000 feet, hunting for squid. Because not many people have ever spotted a saber-toothed beaked whale, there is very little information on their behavior. But based on their family members, who are nervous and mysterious, we know that the saber-toothed beaked whale probably acts in a similar way. And there isn't much of a difference between beaked whales, so sometimes it's hard to tell if you've actually seen one. Number 1. Liliger Napoleon Dynamite waxed poetic about his favorite animal, the liger, which is the offspring of a female tiger and a male lion. These are rare enough on their own, but what about the next generation? The offspring of a male lion and a female liger that are fittingly referred to as liligers. While it seems a little crazy to go these many levels deep, some researchers say that these are the new generations of the felines, which means times are changing. Liligers do actually exist, although there have only been a few of them ever born. The Novosibirsk Zoo in Russia was the first to declare the existence of a liliger in 2012, and then in the following year, the same parents made three more liligers. And then the animal park run by none other than Joe Exotic of Netflix documentary fame produced three more liligers in 2013. Conservation is generally a pretty important cause, but most wildlife experts say that the preservation of liligers isn't all that critical. Craig Packer, leader of the Lion Research Center, says the following, In terms of conservation, it's so far away from anything, it's kind of pointless to even say that it's irrelevant. Some think that breeding ligers and the ligers is cruel and unnatural as it affects these animals' health and diversity. These animals would never come together naturally. In any case, they are very rare animals, although you will never see one in the wild. Thanks for watching! What was your favorite rare animal? Have you ever seen any of them in real life? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. See you later! Bye!